At Kali and Sally, we know that what makes our soup so special is the way we make it. This is anything from getting your recipe spot on, to getting seasoning absolutely accurate, to having really good ingredients. The most important thing though, is attention to detail. At Kali and Sally, soup is what we do. Hey guys, back here now in the kitchen. I just want to talk a little bit more about herbs. We've got lots of little herbs here, ones that we use in our soup quite a bit. So in Cutting Study we love to use fresh herbs. We try to use we use fresh herbs pretty much everywhere. Today I'm just going to talk through some of the herbs that we use in our soups. So this is our pea and minty soups. As you can see, we shout out the herb. The great thing about mint is you just plant it in not sunny areas. Great little herb for Ireland. Beside that we've got rosemary. Definitely have this in the garden. This is coriander here. Coriander is in our honey carrot and coriander soup. Totally delicious. Basil, our tomato and basil soup. This you do go indoors, only indoors really, or in a glass house. And here finally we have parsley. We all know parsley, it's in just about every Irish dish really. It's kind of, it grows away, it does die back in the, in the winter time. But a fantastic herb to just have growing indoors, outdoors. Just have it there for uh, it to put in everything. So there's a few little tips on growing herbs. Um, my recommendation is don't use dried herbs. I mean, you kind of basically, I have some oregano somewhere, but dried oregano, what you get on our dried mixed herbs, that you get on your pizzas, that's exactly, the, it's the same flavor no matter what you do and it's really unsubtle and really, there's often too much of it and it really just tastes too strong and overpowers the flavor, the flavor of everything else inside in the, in the product. And of course, all these herbs will grow, if you don't have a garden, they'll all grow like in a window box, they'll all grow, they do, it is nice to give them at least some time outside. So if you can grow them in something that you can move inside and outside or you can just like put close to a sort of a, a place where they'll get some fresh air, Green fly actually is your, is your enemy number one and if you have it in a stuffy kind of conservatory warm environment you'll have green fly in seconds so that's your, your enemy number one. But listen, start again, they don't take long to come back if, uh, if they uh, get beaten up by green fly or if they if you get to water them. 